And welcome. In this part two of our uh, cartoonization of this drawing, we are going to clean up this sketch. Now, I told you before that we are going to uh, cross over sections, okay, and that the lines should um, cross over as we are tracing out our image. Well, we're going to find out how to fix that in this video. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, duplicate this particular image. Uh, I'm going to select the whole thing and I'm going to alt drag it to where I have a copy of it just in case I mess up. Now this copy here what I want to do is change the way it is working. Right now these are paths that have strokes applied to them. Well I'm going to turn them into singular shapes. The way you do that is with them all selected you go to Object and Expand Appearance. What this does is it turns them into uh, shapes. So you, the outline, the little red um, points, they all go around each of the objects. Okay. Now I'm not done. What I would need to do uh, next is go to Object and do this thing called Live Paint and Make. Now when you do uh, Live Paint and Make, I want you to know that it's actually using these gap options. And I want you to check your gap options. And right now my um, paint will stop at small gaps. I'm going to put them to medium gaps. Okay, And uh, and you'll see why later, but uh, depending on the gap size, uh, it'll fill or not fill. So we want to, most of my shapes on mine are uh, properly selected out, so there's, there's uh, complete shapes pretty much all around, but let's say I, I missed a spot. Let's say one of the lines didn't cross, didn't connect. Well, the gap, even though there's a hole in my rectangle here, for example, if it's got a medium gap, it will um, uh, fill in the area even though there's a hole in the bucket, if you will. So, I'm going to put a mine on medium and uh, set default, and there we go. Now I'm going to do object, live paint, and make. Now this is going to turn this into a live paint group. And well, what I'm going to do now is do object live paint and expand. Now, this is what it did there. It just took it out of live paint. So what you have to do is take it into live paint, then expand it back out of live paint. Now, what did this do? This made it to where now let's um, go to where some of my things are crossing here. If you notice here, these here have now have a nice little cut here and here where this shape is crossing. Okay, so now when I click off of this and I just click on this one, um, well, we have to um, ungroup it, but uh, when I click off it and get this one, let's see if I can. There we go. Just keep ungrouping until it's until it's um, allows you to select it by itself. You can just click on those and hit delete. So like I can click on that guy and I'm just going to jump around my picture here and take out all these little stray lines. This is going to um, I don't want I don't want to get rid of that one. Uh, let's see. Do you want to get rid of that one? Yeah. So you can see how you can quickly clean up your design. Basically, you just bounce around and you select the little tiny errors that basically extend it out. It's not really errors, but it's planned. This way we have nice clean connections throughout our picture. Okay, So basically I'm just going to fix all these little spots. Now, oh look, there's a little gap there. Okay, It's one of those spots I missed. No big deal. We'll deal with it later. But this is the way to fix all those little mistakes. You see how that works? So what you want to do is basically go around your entire picture and remove all ooh, remove all those little extra sections where you crossed over. And that's going to probably take you quite a bit of time to do, but um, it actually is going to be the fastest way of doing it. So you see how that's working. All right. So you can see how I'm already starting to clean up those lines and make them look nice and clean. All right. So that's what I want you to do. Uh, once again, the process is 
uh, you select your whole thing, you go to um, expand to make it shapes, then you do a live paint and you make it, then you do a live paint and expand it back out of live paint, and then you're ready to cut off those extra sections. Then just proceed to cut off all the extra little lines, the crossed over lines throughout your picture, and you're ready for the next step. And that's it for this video.